Hi, I'm Devin with Rotor Technologies. Uh, behind me is our Sprayhawk. Uh, it's it started life as a typical Robinson 44, and uh, we've taken the human aspect out of it, and uh, we've retrofitted it with uh, technology so that we can fly it from a van on the ground. Um, the point of the company is really to keep the pilot on the ground and uh, to save whatever experience they have. Um, agriculture has a lot of aviation accidents, uh, so that's something we're trying to mitigate. We've run the program for about three and a half years, and we've come a very long way. Uh, our company has two R22 uh, proto ships that have been uh, confirmation platforms, and uh, we were in production of uh, spray hawks, air trucks. I think it comes down to uh, flight time and lifting capacity. Um, with uh, with our current setup, uh, we get about 1,200 pounds of lifting capacity um, compared to a standard 44, uh, manned 44. Uh, I think they carry about 60, 60 gallons of uh, chemical and liquid. Yeah, we can do around 110. Yeah. 240 acres per hour, um, 110 gallon capacity. Uh, basically, you take the pilot out, we take out, out some other stuff as well. So you can carry more, that uh, means the nozzle's on for a longer time, um, so you're spending less time refilling. Um, so, you know, you get a little bit more productivity out of that, you reduce accidents, as Devin has said. And, uh, you know, it's it kind of, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to fly, the autonomy, um, you know, means a little bit more safe. And yeah, you kind of just cover a lot of ground. Uh, yeah, do it kind of quite cheaply as well. The company started actually, um, our founder um, was an aerospace engineer and he was taking lessons, um, like helicopter flight lessons, and they had a very near miss. Um, so he was looking at ways to make helicopters safer. Um, so kind of started on, on the track of, you know, making them into big drones. Um, because helicopters are used in so much work. Um, you know, you, you have no, just not just a farming mission, you have plenty of other stuff, like firefighting offshore. Um, and, you know, we uh, the company started kind of building this technology and kind of realized that farming was the, the biggest need um, and the biggest kind of uh, value add that we thought we could kind of contribute to. So, yeah, kind of farming kind of, we grew into it together. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is uh, the Sprayhawk. Um, our air truck is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a utility. It's a, it's a heavy lift utility uh, drone, helicopter. Uh, you know, I, I say helicopter. It's a, you know, I'm, I'm a helicopter pilot. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the uh, the air truck, is perfect for. Uh, I was talking with uh, someone at dinner last night. They're like, oh, so you can lift hogs out of the bush? I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh, you can hook a long line hook to the bottom of it and lift 1200 pounds. Uh, you know, same with the, if we set it up for search and rescue, uh, you know, you put all the uh, apparatus on the front um, for, you know, thermal Im imaging and all that. And then you load it up with a thousand pounds of fuel and you can fly for, you know, 10 hours at a time. So um, same with, uh, same with offshore, you know, we're, it's another industry we're looking to, looking to help with is offshore, uh, like food delivery, you know, yeah. supplies, parts, um, yeah. anything. Oh yeah, we'll be focused on farming. Uh, so in testing and development, we will be delivering um, our first few aircraft to our customers um, next year and working closely with them um, throughout, throughout summer. And then we'll be doing a much wider delivery schedule um, towards the end of next year and uh, beginning of 2026. Um, so people can kind of operate them uh, themselves. We're, we're working with the FAA to get um, a, a, a slew of certifications uh, and figured out waivers, yeah, and so. I'm very interested, I'm very keen to see um, the progress with the FAA um, in over the next year. So next, next year might be a very different story. <laughs>